Hello everybody, my name is Hunter, and welcome back to the Mario Kart 8 3-star challenge. I just got done recording uh, the worst game imaginable, a difficult game about climbing. Um, you probably saw that yesterday. And I figured I need a break. So let me play something that's actually enjoyable for my own sanity. And the best game for that is Mario Kart 8. So, I'm gonna get back to this challenge, and I decided that from now on we're gonna do three cups of video, and I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter of a series just because it's gonna take me a long, long time if I choose to do it any other way. So, three cups this video, and from now on, unless I decide to make it four, but for now, uh, yeah, three cups of video. We're on airport. And I've been thinking after this challenge, maybe playing online, if you guys really enjoy it. Um, I don't know, I'll test it out. Maybe don't, while this series is going, See how it goes, and if you guys like it, I'll keep playing it. If not, I will uh, just drop it from there. But I'm at least gonna try it once, see how it goes. I'm gonna test trial on it, and then if it goes all well, I will make a series on it. And I'm gonna try and do, you know, just the grind to getting so much RP or whatever it's called. KP, MK, M, I don't know what it's called. Whatever the rank points are called in this game. And obviously I'm not gonna grind all the way to number one because that's way too hard and way out of my reach at this point because there's people that play this game non-stop 24-7, 365 for a living, pretty much, but maybe I'll set a goal for myself, and if I achieve that goal and I'm, I still don't feel happy with the series being done yet, maybe I can change it to a higher goal the next, next time after that, but. so, I don't know, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you want me to do a... Mario Kart Online series. I'm gonna get hit by that. Really unlucky. So yeah, let me know. Um, also, uh, I'm gonna implement something to at least give me something to talk about while I'm racing. And that's uh, course ranking. While I'm doing the course, I'm gonna rank each course by um, It's, like, well, I don't know, just my opinion on it, I guess. Music, uh, tr like, background and setting, as well as, like, the course itself, how, how it drives. Um, I might save that for 200, but probably not, because, yeah. I don't think I'm going to save it for 200, just because I'm going to need to focus a little bit more on 200. Once we get there, uh, you might he hear me less less commentary from me, a little bit more just racing. I might put music over it or something, but I'm trying my best here to make the commentary a little bit, no way, a little bit more enjoyable. Rose Gold Peach. Is that even Rose Gold Peach? I think it was. Rose Gold Peach is the death of me in these. It's like the game picks. And I think this might actually be true. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this? 
Getting sniped. CPU. Are you serious? The CPU are going crazy. So, I guess I'll start ranking them now. Um, are you serious? They took away my shell. Um, so with this course, I'm not sure what it's even called, honestly. I really do like the music and the way that when you're underwater, it changes. That's a really nice touch. what you get. Um, the underwater is nice. It does change the way your car drives, which kind of makes this course a little bit more slidey. And I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. Um, the way it drives kind of sucks. And are you serious? Come on. Okay. I was about to say. Give me a red show. I hit this bastard. Yes. What's he got? Get out of here. Diddy Kong. Um. So yeah, music. Um, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. The water physics are definitely a nice touch. Um. And the scenery is awesome. In, like, most tracks, so... Overall, uh, I'd say I'd give that one a 7 out of 10. Now we're on to Electrodome. I really do enjoy the scenery in this one as well. Most, most tracks have great sceneries, great settings. Good music to fit with them, almost always. Um, I believe there's... Like, for this... How it changes the music, that's amazing. Like, the way it turns it a little bit more electronic, and then you go back to the normal. That's awesome. And then this one changes it again. Man, this is such a, a cool idea for a music track. They've done music tracks in the past. And they've been cool as well, but this one might take the cake. Their Mario Kart's Mario Kart 8's um unique tracks, the the ones that were made specifically for Mario Kart 8, were really well done. There's nothing like Crazy iconic, I guess, but man, they've done so well. Really unique ideas in this one, and it helps that the hardware now can support cooler stuff like this and cooler graphical stuff and the music aspects. And this track's not too hard. It's pretty standard for a Mario Kart 8 track. Nothing crazy. Um, you have your... Why didn't that work that time? Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. I just got passed. No way. I might lose. I passed twice. Three times. Oh my god. Already running into issues. I don't need this. Come in first again. I think everyone took themselves out. Shell can protect me. And this is what I was talking about in the last episode. Things get really dicey really quick. Depending on items. So that's why it's so hard to get a 3 star. Because one thing can lead to another, and you can get kicked out of a race in the blink of an eye. But uh, overall, that track, i definitely give that a 9 out of 10. Amazing track. Amazing idea. 
Very well done by Nintendo. Mount Wario. I believe this is a single lap tr track. It's just segmented into three parts. You basically just make your way down the down the mountain. And I drove myself off the map. I believe this is the last track in the in the cup, so I really need to do something here. Um, on this one, the ice is slippery. Definitely a good good thing, but also makes it tough to drive, like, like most. Um, I do like the segments. I like the scenery in this one. It gives, it definitely gives some Wario vibes here and there. The music definitely gives me Wario vibes. But Wario getting a mountain, I'm not really sure how that sits with me, you know. Like Wario's gold mine makes 100% sense. Makes perfect sense. He's a, you know, a cheap, money hungry villain in this in this world of Mario. So that makes sense. But Wario having a mountain with a factory in the middle of it. The factory does make sense, but the rest of it not really. Um also I can take or leave the the single lap three segment tracks just because I don't know. They just don't feel the same. You kind of... I wish they were segmented better. To where it was three completely different, like... Ideas. Three completely different scenes. All in one. Just kind of give it a little bit more separation between the, the segments, but... Um, not bad. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. And, uh, let's we'll see our results. Hopefully, we stayed ahead for long enough in those races. Got enough coins. Falling off in that track did not help us, but hopefully it's generous. Alright. Thankfully, we got a three-star there. Alright, one cup down for this episode. See what we unlocked. Ah, fitting the warrior wing. I'll use it. That's good enough for me to use it. All right, now we're into the special cup, and this one should be a doozy. Uh, special cups are always awesome. And we're starting off with Cloud Top Cruise. Um. From what I can remember, uh, not a bad track. Not my favorite either. Uh, I'll, I'll take you through some things while we're driving here that I like and dislike. Um, like I said earlier, all the sceneries are pretty good. I never really have an issue with any of the sceneries in Mario Kart 8. Even the old tracks that didn't have the greatest scenery, they definitely improved them for this game. Um, this part, I do enjoy how you have to kind of time yourself based on when the lightning's gonna strike. And also this big viney part. This whole, this whole track kind of reminds me of uh, one of my favorite games of all time, Super Mario Galaxy. The first one. Uh, the music, especially this part, actually comes from Galaxy itself. This part that's happening right here. Okay. 
So that definitely gives me some nostalgic vibes. Um, definitely hits me. It reminds me of when I was a kid. That's another thing I could play for you guys is uh, Super Mario Galaxy. I have already beaten it, but I'm always down to play that game again. I've beaten it multiple times in my life on the Wii when it originally came out. And uh, I have it on the Switch for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, yeah, I'm always down to play that game again. It's gotta be my top three favorite games of all time. So yeah, maybe uh, that's in the future. I don't want to start any new series right now because I have a lot going on. But definitely something down the line that I would be interested in making and something you might see in the future. That would be a, a long series for sure, but uh, here comes a blue shell. Let's see if I can beat it out. Not quite. Unfortunate. Um, so, not a bad track there. Um, the music definitely hits me, but nothing crazy, so I'm going to say 6 out of 10 for that one as well. Bone Dry Dunes. This track in 200cc is very difficult. In 150 it's no big deal, because no track in this game is a big deal in 150, but... Well, that's not true. Neo Bowser City is. Hey. Yeah, that's what you get. You get a coin for that. Loser. Um... The scenery in this track is one of my least favorites, just because the whole desert thing in Mario Kart has been done so many times that... I'm just kind of sick of it at this point. I could definitely go without it. Oh my god. Okay, maybe this track is going to be a problem. What the heck? No. Please don't hit me. Okay. I missed that. Alright, this track is going to be a problem for me because apparently I forgot how to drive. Yeah, the whole desert thing... Kind of not my, my style. Never really has been, but especially now that they've done so many dry desert themed tracks, I'm just kind of over it. Every Mario Kart game comes out with a new one, I think, it feels like, and they're not that interesting. This one, I will say, isn't too bad. I like the, the dry Bowser. Thing. The bones, and the dry bones around. They're they're definitely a good touch, but they could have picked something a little bit more interesting. Here comes a, a blue shell for me. I'm way ahead on this track, by the way. I mean, I'm just. Nowhere near anyone else. I can take multiple blue shells at this point. So, um... I'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 10, just because of the... It, get, it loses points for the desert. The music is the same as every other desert track, pretty much. Nothing interesting. But still, I don't know. It's alright. Nothing wrong with it, just not my cup of tea. Alright, now this track... ...is my cup of tea. Bowser Castles... ...always... ...been one of my favorites. Any Bowser Castle, except for, you know, maybe the really old, like, SNES 
Mario Kart. But especially the newer ones, the one on the Wii sticks out to me as one of my favorites. And this one does remind me of that one with this specific. Oh boy. Avoid him. Barely. That specific section right there with the two um, two paths definitely reminds me of Wii Bowser Castle. We're definitely gonna get hit here. Okay, not what I meant. Let's try to stay on the track. And I'm losing it. This might be where I lose a three star. Just from poor driving. Oh boy. Really? I can see either. Two. That's awesome. Okay. Back in the first. Got protection. Got red doubles. Down here. Really been racing bad in this video. Um, so yeah, Bowser Castle scenery is always gonna be great. The lava the, you know, traps in the castle. Bowser himself, in some sort of form, always seems to appear anymore. Boy, am I gonna make this? Get there. Let's go. Okay. Now I'm way out ahead again. I don't know how this happens. Um, the music is good. A little bit Jazzy, but that's kind of the whole vibe of this Mario Kart is a little bit of jazziness. Um, but for Bowser Castle, this is a nine out of ten. Um, still doesn't earn ten out of ten for me yet, but great track. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we all know what's coming next. Yes, I was correct. Um, this is an interesting Rainbow Road. The scenery is kind of lackluster to me. However, I do like the, the floating the astronaut toads. This also, that also reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy. But, um, and I guess this big satellite's kind of cool too. This part of the track, I do always like the go fast, go slow, decide which which path you need to go down. I always do like that. As for difficulty, on 200cc, this is definitely a rough one at times. Um, for 150, not a big deal, to be honest. Um, the music though is bumping for sure. It's got the electronic vibes, which definitely matches the course itself. No, not now. That's terrible. Um, yeah, but the music for this track is definitely really good for Rainbow Road. Um, comparing this to all the other Rainbow Roads, nothing will touch the Wii for me. And I'm very biased towards the Wii tracks, but I don't think anything's ever going to be as good as the Wii Rainbow Road for me. This one might be second though. Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road was god-awful. It was a... One, one lap. Ooh, I almost just fell there. See, every every once in a while I get dicey. 
I believe this is gonna change. It went. I banked on it changing too soon. And I know there's a shortcut in this one that definitely cuts off a little bit of track, but I'm, I don't remember how to do it anymore. I used to practice it all the time when I used to play it. When I first got this game. Uh oh. Oh my god. We just raced that whole track just to finish second. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You can't do anything. And just like that, it all gets wiped away. So, um, now I have to race it all over again. And these recordings are gonna suck. Because I only get a two star. Did everything right. And one blue shell just ruins it. That's how easy it is. Well, glad I got to showcase that. So, um, I don't care about any of this right now. See if I can get better acceleration out of something. That's not a bike. I can't do bikes. No, we're just gonna leave it. Ah, we do have the roller wheels. Why haven't I been using those? Okay. This should be a little bit better for me. Um, I'll be back in about five seconds for you, but ten minutes for me. A few moments later. All right, we are back on Rainbow Road. Now let's try this again. This time I have the roller wheels instead of normal wheels. It's gonna give me more acceleration after we get hit. So I should be able to get back on track a little bit easier after I get hit. And I've been getting held to this entire cup, so... As I was saying. As I was saying. As I was saying. Getting absolutely pelted. And of course, when I'm getting pelted, then there's me a, sh a coin. There's no item boxes for a little while, so. Yay, me. There we go. Please give me something. Give me a boom box. Another one. Every lap, I swear. As soon as I jump out to a lead, they just throw the house at me. Come on. Let me do something. Please. Give me a boom box. Okay. Feel another blue shell coming. Okay, red shell's fine. Alright, we completed this. Rainbow Road gets an 8 out of 10. My final thoughts on that. I don't have to do that for a little bit.
Hmm. Restart. Alright, one more cup for this episode. And then we'll move on. I do not want these Mercedes wheels. Get these out of here. And that's the egg cup. And I see some controversial cups or tracks in this one, for sure. Some polarizing cups. Is this Yoshi Circuit? I believe so. Um, Yoshi Circuit is great. I love this. The music is classic. And they just kind of jazz it up a little bit, as they have for most of this game. But the music's awesome. The cup itself, or the track itself, just feels classic Mario Kart. You have... It's a circuit. Um, it's definitely windy, which I do enjoy. It gives you a little bit of a challenge. On 200cc, this track is a, a doozy, to say the least. Um, I do love the little pit stop at the end. I well, knew that wasn't a pit stop. But I do love, like, the scenery of this one, too. It definitely makes it look like a racing track, which is something that I like about Mario Kart tracks, and if you make it feel like like a professional racing track. Um, the scenery, you can't really see some of it, like there's a, a lighthouse in the background over here that you don't really get much of a glimpse of other than right here. Um, I wish we got to see a little bit more of the ocean, or bay, or wherever we are. This is an island I assume, so... Um, but overall, this is a great track. Gives me good vibes, I like it. And it's enough of a challenge that it's not a boring track to drive on. Um, I'm give, definitely giving this a 9 out of 10 overall. The only flaw is, like I said, I wish I could see more of the beach and the, the water. That is a uh, helicopter back there is a cool touch. Yeah, 9 out of 10. Easy peasy, I was way out there. I didn't get blue shelled. I were shocked. For once. Feels like every race now, I've been blue shelled. Up next we have Excite Bike Arena, and this is probably the worst track in the game, in my personal opinion. Other than maybe like Baby Park set in this game, I think there's some some form of it in this game. This track was made specifically for 200 CC, and. It serves no other purpose than to go fast on, and it's boring. It's just circles with jumps on them. I appreciate the, the ode to Excite Bike, but let's be honest here, it doesn't belong in Mario Kart. And if you think otherwise, then you're not good at Mario Kart, because this is a boring track. So we started off the cup with a 9 out of 10, and now this is, you know, even the, the scenery isn't that cool, I, I get it, but it's an arena. It's just not interesting at all. I'm giving this one a 2 out of 10, probably the worst track in the game.
That being said, there's not much room for error, so I can easily. I might speak too soon, but I can easily just blow past this one without any issues. I'm good now. Have a boombox. Easy enough. Boring track, though. On to the next one. Alright, now we have Dragon Driftway. Um... I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember much about this track, so... This is gonna be a... Live reaction for me. Off the start, it's obviously Japanese inspired. I think. Maybe it's Chinese inspired. It's Asian culture, for sure. Um, someone in the comments let me know if this is. I believe this is Chinese now that I'm looking at it. Um, with the dragons and such, and the, the lanterns. I believe this is Chinese inspired. So that's an that's neat. Yeah, this is definitely a unique track. Nothing like this has ever been done before. So I do appreciate that. The music definitely fits well with the track itself without taking away from the Mario Kart vibe aspects of the music itself. Have a little bit of rock mixed in with it, you know, it makes it a little bit more exciting. Um, as for the track itself, you know, it's nothing interesting. There's some good turns, but um, nothing too difficult. The scenery is pretty good. I do enjoy the the twisting and turning of this one as well. You can see in the background the mountains. Um, the dragon's a nice touch, but it only lasts for about a second. Oh, I was trying to hit that mushroom just as the, the blue shell came in there, trying to dodge it. And if you didn't know, you can dodge a blue shell with a mushroom. But you have to time it perfectly. And that's the only thing in the game that you can dodge a blue shell with, other than the boom box. You can't dodge it by boosting in any way, whether it's a booster on the ground or a drift boost. Nothing else works. The game encoded it so that you can only dodge blue shells with mushrooms. Which is kind of interesting, but kind of boring at the same time. Um, I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. Um, I do like the, the Chinese, um, you know what I mean, the Chinese tradition, but now we have Mute City. Um, this is a one, uh, one lap track, and this track drives very fast. And in 200 CC, you can fly down this track, which is really exciting. This is from um, F Zero. Um, another old video game from Nintendo, and it's it's good. Uh, those as I fall off there, those panels on the side. Give you coins if you didn't notice me getting coins from that. Why can I not drive? Boy, I have to really get this back. We're good now. But yeah, these these panels on the sides give you coins. I'm not sure if they give you a speed boost as well. It's kind of hard to tell. But these boosts on the ground are really fun to go through. The scenery is kind of cool. Um, if you're into F-Zero, it's definitely a 
pleasant thing to see for you. But I'm not really old enough to have even enjoyed F Zero like that, so. Um, the only thing I know about F Zero is Captain Falcon, and I only know Captain Falcon from Smash Brothers, so. I think most people know him more from Smash Brothers than they do from his own game. Just kind of unfortunate if you think about it, but at least he gets the recognition he deserves. I did not mean to do that. I wasn't paying attention to what I got. Okay. Got a banana. I'm just gonna ignore these. We're getting close to the end. Maybe this is a Relap track, actually. I didn't think it was. Oh, that one is. Okay, that was the wrong... I was thinking about the wrong track. Um, overall, fun. Uh, fast, for sure. But it's not too difficult. So, um, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Pretty good. Let's see results. That should have been an easy three star there. Yeah. Alright. I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below uh, your thoughts on my... My ideas from both Mario Kart and Super Mario Galaxy. If you'd like to see me play online Mario Kart or Super Mario Galaxy, let me know. Um, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.